Hello everyone and welcome. In this video you are going to learn about data communication and their components as well as the modes of data communication. So let me start with the definition of data communication. Now let's understand what is data communication. Actually the process of transferring data and information from one computer to another is known as data communication. In the computer network, the computers are capable of transferring data from one computer to another and that process of transferring the data information from one computer to another in the network is known as data communication. Simply it is the sending of information from one computer to another computer in the network. Okay, now let me tell you about the components of data communication. There are total five components of data communication and they are the sender, receiver, transmission media, message and protocol. So I will explain these components one by one. Okay, now talking about the components of data communication, the first one is the sender which is the source computer or device which generates and transmits the data. So sender is the source computer or it may be any device that generates the data and transfer to the other computer. Similarly, receiver is the destination computer or device that receives the data and information transmitted by the sender. Another one is the message. Message is the actual data or information that travels over the communication channel from sender to receiver and transmission media is the communication channel or the pathway through which the data travels from sender to receiver it may be a wire communication channel like the cable or a wireless communication media like bluetooth or wi-fi and the next one is the protocol it is an important component of data communication that controls the overall communication system that handles the data communication in the network. So it is actually the set of rules that handles the data communication between the computers in the network. So these are the five important components of data communication. Now let's understand the modes of data communication. Actually the way of transferring information from one place to another is known as the mode of data communication. It is the way of transferring information from one computer to another in the network. How the data is transmitted from sender to receiver is known as the modes of data communication. There are three modes of data communication. First one is simplex, second one is half duplex and third one is full duplex mode now let me tell you about the simplex mode of data communication actually it is one way communication where transmission of data takes place in only one direction so the data is transmitted in only one direction the sender sends the data and receiver receives the data the receiver cannot retransmit the data so the data flow in only one direction and such type of data communication is the simplex mode of data communication where the data travels in only one direction the transmission of data through radio and television is an example of simplex mode of data communication so the broadcasting of radio and television signals is the example of simplex mode of data communication where the sender device sends the data and the receiver receives the data there is no two-way communication so the simplex mode of data communication is the type of or you can say the mode of data communication where the data travels in only one direction and the next one is half duplex mode it is a two-way communication where the transmission of data takes place in both the directions however only in one direction at a time it means while the sender is transmitting the data the receiver cannot transmit the data at the same time after the sender completes the sending of the information then only the receiver can transmit the information 
so half duplex is a two way communication where the transmission of data takes place in both the directions but at different times not at the same time the transmission through walkie talkie is an example of half duplex mode of data communication finally let me tell you about the full duplex mode which is also a two way communication mode where sending and receiving of informations can be performed at the same time it means while the sender is transmitting the data the receiver can also transmit the data at the same time in this mode the data can travel in both the directions at the same time so the communication through telephones mobiles and computer are the example of full duplex mode where the data can be transmitted in both the directions at the same time so these are the three modes of data communication i hope you have understood now if you want to know about the computer network you can click on the video that is appearing to your screen right now so see you in that next video